Hi, I'm Andrea Burns, and I teach fourth grade at Midland Trail Elementary in Kansas City, Kansas. And I am so excited to talk to you about Simon B. Ryman by Dwayne Reed. Simon B. Ryman is about a fifth grade boy who lives in Chicago. He wants to be a rapper, but he's pretty shy. On the first day of school, his awesome teacher, Mr. James, happens to be rapping for him, but he also tells him he has to complete an oral presentation on a timely issue going on in his neighborhood. So Simon decides that he wants to give back. And this story is about just friendship and a sense of community and helping one another. So one way you could use this book is talking about how a character changes throughout the story. So in the beginning, Simon is very, very shy and timid, but throughout the story, his actions change. And so one of the things we did in my classroom is we used bulletin board paper and we drew a picture of Simon and we came up with all of the adjectives that described him in the beginning of the story. Then obviously throughout the story, he tends to get more confidence and be more sure of himself. So at the end of the story, we had different adjectives compared to the beginning of the story. And so we compared and contrast how he changed as a person throughout the story. One way you could use this book in your classroom is talking about point of view. In fourth grade, we talk all about different points of view in the story. This book is written and told by Simon's point of view. So throughout the story, Simon loves to rap. So one thing that you could do with your students is have your students come up with their own rap. So whether that's multiplication facts or coming up with their own beats when they're talking about author's purpose, my students loved coming up with their own raps. So I assigned my students after this story, we talked about, okay, why do we love to rap? Because it's super fun, it helps us learn different content. And so we came up with raps for multiplication facts and for multiples of different numbers as well. So not only can you use this in reading, you can also use this book to relate it back to math or any type of subject in school. Another way you could use this book in your classroom is to tie it to your social emotional learning. There is so much that students can learn from this story. There's a bully in the story named Bobby, and Bobby kind of picks on Simon a lot. Sometimes when people act out, it means that something deeper is going on in their life. And Simon starts to realize that throughout the story, that maybe Bobby has something else going on. So in the story, Simon comes up with his own community project of how to help out the people in his community. So one thing you could do as an extension activity is you could have your own students come up with a community project and how they can help out within their community. My students absolutely adored this book, not only due to the pop culture references, which talk about Kanye West and going to Target, they truly felt like they could relate to Simon and they really loved um, being able to feel like they're kind of friends with him. I absolutely love using this book in my classroom and you will love it too.